Mumu. Right now you can get up to 16 free stocks, 15 of them valued up to $2,000 a share by using my link in the description below. Right now you will also receive a $50 cash reward and depending on your deposit amount, right now you can also get one free share of Tesla or Google. This software ends August 31st. So go ahead and check out Mumu. I'll put a link to them in the description below. Now let's get right into this video here. So today I want to talk about a powerful indicator and how to use it. I have received a lot of requests from different individuals asking me to go through this indicator that I have shown in some of my previous videos. So I want to go ahead and do that here. Now, this is going to be the looks algo signals and overlays indicator. So I'll put a link to looks algo in the description below, along with a code you can use right now to get 30% off. So let's go over to trading view here. So you need to have trading view to be able to use this indicator, of course. So I'm going to go over how to use a lot of the, the, the features on this indicator. Keep in mind, this one indicator has a ton of features. So this video would be very long if I actually went through everything, but I'll try to go through the majority of things here. Uh, so here we are on TradingView. I'll put a link to TradingView in the description below. Again, like I mentioned, you need to have TradingView to be able to use this indicator. And so I'm just on SPY right now. Of course, you can use this indicator on any security that you want. Uh, but we're just going to use SPY here for today's video. So the first thing we need to do here is actually add this indicator to our chart. So how do we do that? So we go to the top here, we click on the indicators button and we'll just search up Lux Algo here. And so there's going to be a lot of them because Lux Algo has a lot of them. They also actually have some free indicators as well. But the premium indicator that I'm talking about here today is this one right here, their most popular one by far, Lux Algo Signals and Overlays Indicators. This is a premium indicator here. So I'm just going to click on it here and it's going to be added here to my chart. And so again, we're going to go through basically a lot of these features on this indicator and how they work. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and remove all the overlays for now, just so that we can start with the simple things first. So there, I removed all the overlays. We'll get into some of those overlays here in a little bit. But let's actually first start by talking about what we're seeing here on the chart now, because you can see, right, uh, things have already changed and been modified here for this chart on SPY here. So the first thing you probably noticed are these, you know, green and red signs here that you see, and some have these plus marks, some don't. So these that don't have a plus mark, right? So like this one here, this one here, these are just normal trend confirmation signals. Uh, so these that you, you know, again, see with green or red arrows, these are just normal trend confirmation signals. So potentially signaling that, you know, a potential uptrend here has begun or a potential downtrend, but these are just going to be your normal trend confirmations. Now, when you get into these here that have this plus sign in them, these are strong trend confirmation signals. So these are going to be even stronger signals than these that don't have the plus. So when you see the ones with the plus, you can be a little bit more confident that there's more, um, or there's a stronger confirmation that you know it's going to potentially turn into an uptrend or a downtrend here. Now we also see that we have candle coloring here. So candles have three different colors. There's red, there's purple, there is green here. So these help visualize trends developing. So, you know, if you see, uh, for example, here, right, we have a normal trend confirmation uh, telling us a potential downtrend is in play here. Now, notice we see a lot of purple here. So purple kind of means that, you know, it's potentially 
ranging here. But once you start to actually see red here, then this tells us, okay, we're starting to get more into actual, uh, you know, a downtrend here versus, you know, if you, if you see something where like, you know, you're green and then you switch back to purple, then you're back to green, you know, it's a potential ranging market, right? So in other words, what you want to see here for strong confirmations is that you want to see the same color over and over again. You don't want it to be switching from one color to purple back to the color, you know. So for example here, right, notice that there's no purple in between here. All green candles, very strong uptrend here. But once we hit here and you started to see some purple, right, it means, oh, we might potentially be ranging here versus actually being in a trend. So that's how you can use the candle coloring on here. Now we also have exit signals. And this is one thing a lot of people struggle with because a lot of times I get this question, right? When do I know when to, you know, count my losses or take my profits, things like that. So this indicator actually has places for that. And so they're going to be uh, these blue and X uh, or orange X marks that you see here. Again, potential places to take profit. So for example, right, right here, we had a strong trend confirmation signal alerted. We saw that there was a bunch of green candles, one after another, no purple. And so again, we saw price head up very high. Eventually here we got this X here. So this would have been a potential take profit area. Uh, potential place to take your profits here. Same thing here, right? Recently we had this normal trend confirmation signal for a potential downtrend. Price pulled back and notice here, which has actually been the bottom here most recently, we had this X as well. So a place to potentially take profits if you had shorted the market here. Uh, so it does come with that as well here. Now let's get into some of the overlays here for this indicator. And again, there's a lot more features here that I'm not going to be able to get to because I don't want this video to be too long. But let's just, for example, uh, add this reversal zones overlay. So here are the indicator overlays, by the way. There's six different ones here. So let's start with the reversal zones one. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to my chart here. So basically, right, you're gonna get one upper and one lower zone here. So we have this upper red zone, this lower green zone here. And each zone here could potentially help you find tops and bottoms here for the market. So for example here, right, uh, most recently end of July here, beginning of August, price went up to this uh, overlay zone or reversal zone on the top here. And notice as well that we had this normal trend confirmation print for a potential downtrend here. So you could have paired these two things up, right? You could have paired the fact that, hey, we're getting very close. Well, it did touch this uh, upper reversal zone, uh, but we're very close to the reversal zone. We also just had this trend confirmation signal print could have used other technical analysis as well that I've talked about in the past. And you probably would have said, okay, it's probably a good time to short the market. And again, if you did, right, you would have gone from 454 to potentially 430-ish uh, most recently, where again, this take profit signal was alerted here by this indicator, right? And so uh, that's basically how you would use this here. Um, same thing, for example, uh, on the downside, right? When, you know, we're getting close to this lower reversal zone, uh, you might want to watch out because again, this could potentially help you find a bottom. Market might bottom. In fact, here uh, you can see uh, where it has bottomed in the past when it uh, reaches that zone. Uh, so that's how you would use those reversal zones. Now, I'm going to go ahead and switch to another overlay here now. So let's switch over to the smart trail overlay. Let's add this here on this chart. So when it comes to this smart uh, trail indicator, there's two ways to use this. Firstly, if price 
is above the smart trail, that indicates we're in an uptrend. If price falls below the smart trail, like we are right now, that indicates that we're in a downtrend. Now also, when price pulls back into this smart trail, that potentially signals a very key and strong area of support and resistance, or again, might potentially help you find uh, temporary tops, temporary bottoms. So again, for example, right here, back in April, notice that uh, this uh, trend confirmation signal was printed for an uptrend. We had a bunch of green candles, right? So we don't see anything purple. So we're in a pretty nice uptrend here. Pulled back into this smart trail zone here, which again, is gonna be a key area of uh, support where we might potentially reverse. And so this here might have been potentially a good area to enter because we know that we're in an uptrend here because again, we see, we you know, we saw this trend confirmation signal, uh, candles are green and we pulled back into this area that we know we're gonna see a lot of support, potential reversal. And so as you can see, SPY went from 403 to uh, you know almost 420 here in a matter of days. Uh, and of course, you could do the opposite with that as well, right? So that's how you would use the smart trail indicator here. Let's go ahead and switch now. Let's go ahead and add the dashboard here. So this dashboard will show you uh, some key information. You can see it down here in the bottom right. There's a lot of different things here. Uh, I'm gonna talk about three of these. So hopefully you guys can see this. I know it's a little bit small here, but you know one of these things here is trend strength. So trend strength, of course, is gonna tell us how strong a trend is. The higher that percentage is, the stronger the trend is. Now, you also need to look at the icons here. So right now we see a fire emoji. Uh, so there's actually two emojis that can show up here, fire or a snowflake. If we see the fire, that tells us that we are in a trending market. If we see a snowflake, that tells us that we are in a ranging market. And also the color here that we see, which is uh, red, right, tells us if we should be looking for potential bullish trades or potential bearish trades here. Next, we have Lux volatility here. So, you know, what is the volatility like right now in the market? And it tells us it's very high. The market has high volatility right now. But again, we also need to look at this icon here. So notice that the icon shows a chart with price going down. So if you see this, this means that volatility is actually starting to decrease. If instead we see an icon here with a you know price heading higher, that would tell us that volatility is actually increasing. So right now volatility is high, but it's actually starting to decrease. That's what this is telling us here. Next we have squeeze. So squeeze is a measure of price compression. So higher values of this metric indicate that the market is being compressed into a tighter area. And so that's all I'm gonna talk about with that one there. And again, there's a lot more overlays here. There's the trend tracer, there's the trend catcher, there's a Neo Cloud, um, there's presets here that you can uh, actually set, which is pretty cool. So basically these have already combined a lot of these things to fit into what you might potentially be looking for. Let's say you're a swing trader. You can select swing trader on here and it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna add things here that uh, Luxalgo believes might be beneficial as a swing trader, right? Uh, we could you know, go into maybe you're a scalper. So you could do scalper here. And again, we're gonna see things that they're gonna add on here that might be useful for somebody that's a scalper. So we have a lot of great features on this indicator. This is just one of many indicators, by the way. Uh, and again, I wasn't able to go through everything here. Uh, there's a lot more features, but I don't want this video to get too long. So again, if you're interested in the Lux Algo 
uh, indicators. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Go ahead and check out the Discord. I'll put a link to that in the description below as well. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys next time.